For this bonus assignment, you must make your own working model of the think tube. As you can see, there's a blue end and a red end. The blue end has a shorter string, the red end a longer string. What do you think it looks like inside? In science, when you model something, you should start with the simplest idea possible that seems to explain what's observed. Make your model more complex only when your simple model doesn't explain what you observe. When I ask students for their simplest ideas of what it would look like inside, I get several different responses. Some students say the simplest model would be there's a string running straight through the blue end and a second string running straight through the red end. Some students say there are four separate strings, each one glued to the think tube. Still other students come up with some complex version of strings going everywhere and other materials inside that I can't quite even follow. So which of those seems to be the simplest model? In terms of construction, I would say the simplest model would be strings coming through each end. To glue four separate strings seems a lot more work. In science, oftentimes we can't directly observe phenomena, like the inside of an atom or the inside of a black hole. So we must look for other ways to get evidence to gain more confidence in our theories. With the think tube, I'm not going to show you the inside, so students often say, well, why don't you pull up on one of the strings? And if the string runs straight through, like often they think, they expect the string to come straight through. So let's try that. So based on that evidence, there's more reason to believe that the string going through each end theory is correct. But have we proven that to be the correct theory? No. In science, you very rarely have 100% certainty, but still you can have overwhelming evidence. For instance, Newton's universal law of gravitation is something that few scientists question because there's so much evidence about it. Occasionally, students are a bit confused by this assignment because I think it's just really simple. We've basically told you what to do. But remember, there's a short string on the blue end and a long string on the red end. You wouldn't want to have the blue one long because that would be wrong. So you have a short blue and a long red. Oh, wait, I have that wrong. The red end is the short one and the blue one is the long one. Don't accidentally have the red one long because that would be incorrect. And you certainly don't want to do your own assignment wrong. Good luck and have fun.